Have you ever heard of Crestor? Crestor? It rings a bell. You're gonna have to remind me. Circle. Circle. Yeah, it's a drug or something. The Monobon. No. Cymbalta? No. No. Viagra. <laughs> Hi, my name is Idan Raz. I live in the city of Manhattan. I'm not sure they're targeting uh, what you call real people. I think um, this country has like a, a huge issue with understanding who really inhabits it. I think that you have to let the accents in. You know, let, let the people talk in their own accent. Stop making everything Eastern Standard, whatever, you know. Any office that has anyone in this country should have multilingual people, you know? I mean, it's, it just makes no sense. And um, I think this country is really far from that. Brochures in general are just annoying because there's a lot of garbage and you get so many of so many different kinds, it's endless. So personally, I don't even pick them up. If you're looking at them, you're just looking at them because you're really nervous. So you're not really like reading what they say. If it's medical magazines, you're definitely not reading because it's boring. There should be a way to advertise or to even get awareness in these offices, especially in waiting rooms. I'm definite it's not like magazines. With the internet today and the fast information and all that, it's just, it's just an old method. It just doesn't work anymore. And I think actually if someone watches a 90 second thing online, it gets to him much more than a half an hour show on TV with a few advertisements. It's much more powerful. I'll definitely use online videos for anything, from medical to any kind of important information. But again, you gotta, you gotta talk to the people in their color, in the language, and visually with their kind of people. People like seeing the, the, the same like they are. They don't like seeing someone patronizing them, you know?